Imagine, on a chilly day in 2013, a giant space rock crashed into the sky above Russia. It was massive, heavier than the famous Eiffel Tower. Then boom! It exploded, lighting up the heavens like a second sun. But here's the eerie part. It was so high up that for a whole minute and a half, there was silence. But when the noise came, it brought chaos. The explosion wrecked buildings and hurt 1,500 people. What's really surprising is that scientists had a heads up about another asteroid on the same day. They were spot on. Just hours after the Russian blast, another big space rock zoomed by Earth. It was like a cosmic close call. But get this, while they saw one, they missed the other. It's like our asteroid radar needs an upgrade. Since 1988, more than a thousand asteroids, bigger than a car, have hit Earth, catching us off guard. With all our fancy tech, why can't we spot these threats earlier? And what if a huge one is headed our way? Is there anything we can do to stop it? From the mind-boggling scale of space to the ingenious solutions devised by scientists, prepare to be amazed at every twist and turn. So join us on this epic journey through the cosmos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on all things space related. Get ready to embark on an unforgettable adventure with us. It's time to boldly go where no one has gone before. Asteroids are like space leftovers from when our solar system began. Billions of years ago, rocks and dust joined together to form molten protoplanets. Some became planets, but many smashed into pieces. These bits kept orbiting the sun, smashing into each other and breaking into smaller fragments. That's how asteroids formed. Some are rocky rubble piles, while others are mostly metal. Most asteroids chill between Mars and Jupiter in the main asteroid belt, but some creep closer to Earth, known as near-Earth objects. They're a big deal because they could pose a threat Stephen Hawking even said, asteroid impacts are the scariest danger for Earth. But finding these space rocks is tough. We mainly spot them using telescopes on the ground. But here's the thing, asteroids aren't huge. They come in different sizes, from small to massive. But in space's vastness, they're hard to spot. Even tiny ones can cause trouble. The Chelyabinsk meteor only about the size of two school buses cause chaos. Plus, asteroids are dark and rough, reflecting only a bit of sunlight. So we spot them best when the sun fully lights them up. That's why we find most near-Earth asteroids when they're opposite the sun, an effect called opposition. But any asteroid coming from the sun's direction, like Chelyabinsk, sneaks up on us. We've found and recorded a million asteroids so far, mostly hanging out in the main asteroid belt. But keep an eye out for the 24,000 near-Earth objects. They're the ones we're really watching because, even if we spot an asteroid, figuring out if it's on a collision course with Earth is tough. Check out Barringer Crater in Arizona. It's named after Daniel Barringer, a mining guy who thought it was hit by a meteorite, not made by a volcano like others believed. Back in 1903, he went all in, drilling for the metal rock he figured was worth a fortune. People love money, right? So they were like, let's mine this iron meteorite. They drilled and drilled, but found nothing. They tried every angle, even drilling sideways. But here's the kicker. When a space rock smacks into Earth at high speed, it's not like hitting a wall. It's explosive. The energy turns the rock into gas, blowing out the crater. So what they were digging for, it vanished in a puff. They were chasing something that wasn't there. He spent 27 years digging into the crater, going down over 400 meters. But what he was after had disappeared long before, vaporized when the asteroid hit 50,000 years ago. This 50 meter rock, not much bigger than Chelyabinsk, packed a punch like 10 million tons of TNT. That's a blast 600 times stronger than Hiroshima. It's like a massive nuclear explosion. Dinosaurs got wiped out by a huge 10 kilometer asteroid 65 million years ago. When something that big hits, it's a game changer. 
It throws up so much debris that it travels around the planet, falling back down everywhere. The sky turns into a meteor show. Imagine a nice blue sky turning red hot like a toaster oven. The first thing isn't just the bang where it hit, it's the heat wave that cooks everything on the ground. Those poor creatures didn't stand a chance. They were literally cooked alive. Imagine dinosaurs roaming the Earth, unaware of the danger above. When the huge asteroid hit, it was like turning up the heat in a giant oven. They were cooked alive, helpless against the scorching temperatures. But some lucky creatures, like those living underground or in water, managed to survive. They dodged the disaster and thrived while the dinosaurs vanished. But what about us? Are we safe from another colossal asteroid strike? Well, let's break it down. Picture your entire lifetime. A hundred years of adventures and memories. Now, in all that time, the odds of a massive asteroid hitting Earth are incredibly slim, like winning the lottery a million times over. In fact, the chances of it happening in just one year are practically zero. Thanks to the hard work of scientists, we've mapped out the paths of these giant space rocks, and none are heading our way anytime soon. So, rest easy. The threat of a massive asteroid is practically non-existent for now. Great news. We won't see any huge dinosaur-level disasters during our lives. But hold on. There are loads more smaller asteroids out there. For every big 10-kilometer asteroid, there are around a thousand one-kilometer ones. And guess what? Even these smaller ones can pack a punch. Think about it. A rock just one or two kilometers wide could cause some serious damage in a local area. Instead of wiping out the whole planet, it could flatten a country. Imagine saying goodbye to places like France or Germany, two of my favorites. That's the kind of impact we're talking about here. So are we keeping tabs on all these potential threats? We're doing pretty well. We've got eyes on about 90-something percent of these one to two kilometer space rocks. We know where they're headed for the next decade or so. Right now, things seem under control. But what about those sneaky ones just under a kilometer? An 800-meter asteroid could still wreak havoc if it decided to pay us a visit. All right, space enthusiasts, did you catch that? Those smaller asteroids might actually be the ones we need to keep an eye on. But don't worry, we've got you covered. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest space science updates. Our channel is your go-to destination for all things space-related, where we break down complex topics into easy-to-understand nuggets of knowledge. Stay curious, stay connected, and let's continue exploring the wonders of the universe together. See you in the next video.